almost to a T, the, uh, the educators that have been developing openly licensed resources say that it's been the best professional learning experience of their careers. Just the ability to collaborate with other teachers on the development of, of content that is going to suit the specific needs of their students has been uh, very powerful. You're now actually able to see the teacher's passion come out. So if they're, they're passionate about student learning, they can bring in the tools and the methods and the modalities to have teachers or have stu their students uh, grasp an idea and it's not reliant on a textbook. We started um, digging into data teaming, thinking that the results of student learning would really fo help us focus on um, how we can best meet the needs of students. Then we recognized that we ended up capturing a lot of assessment data but not necessarily changing our instruction. So when we started the work with the secondary social studies and science teachers and they had these conversations around their resource, we started hearing them make decisions about not only what activities and content to use but how they were using it. So we had some of the most powerful conversations, rich conversations around student learning that we couldn't find in our PLC conversations or our data team conversations. We've really moved towards a committee-based, a teacher committee-based professional learning um, focus where we gather our teacher leaders a couple times a year. We talk about you know vision and mission for the LEAP committee, we call it. Um, and then they help decide what are those days going to look like? How do we want to break out the topics? And so that came along at a really good time because now we're, we're literally meeting each department's individual department needs as well as individuals within the department's needs. So if you're a seasoned vet that wants to excel in a certain area, we can send you out or bring somebody in to do that. Or you can collaborate with a colleague if you're a newer teacher in that department and you need some basic you know, foundational work, we will do that. And so with OER, it became really great in terms of where we were, where certain departments were in the curriculum cycle. So if they were up for rewrite and they needed the OER work, we could very easily build that OER work into those in-service days. 